Hi there, Mark here. In this video, ang pag-usapan naman natin ay yung mga common questions na tinatanong during capstone defense. So, some of the items listed in here might be nabanggit ko na from the previous videos, but this one has more. So, excited na po kayo? Great. So, simulan natin yung list on the broader sense, wherein ang focus ay ang inyong software development journey. So, number one is focusing on the methodology. Ang exact question dyan is, anong methodology ang ginamit ninyo and bakit yun ang pinili ninyo? First, i-define natin what is methodology. A methodology is something, a model, na magagaya sa inyo in your software development journey. So, example of here is waterfall, spiral model, rapid application design, or rapid application development, agile development, prototyping, and so on. Marami pa. So, in this capstone course, you need to choose one. So, yun yung nakalagay sa inyong document. And when you answer this, dapat match yung sasabihin ninyo sa kung anong nakasort sa inyong document. Because if not, that's one way for panelists you know, na hindi kayo nagbabasa ng kung anong nakalagay sa inyong documentation. Another, dapat alam ninyo yung benefit ng each uh, methodology. And you know, you should also know kung ano yung reason ninyo, bakit yun yung pinili ninyong methodology. Last is, dapat alam ninyo kung paano siya naka-affect sa inyong software development process at kung nag-guide nga ba talaga kayo or not. Ganun. So that's question number one. Number two is about the results ng inyong testing. Yung testing na tinutukoy ko is yung alpha test or beta test. Siyempre sa mga testing na yun, papagamit ninyo yung inyong software product sa mga expected users nito or sa mga professionals. Ganun. Sa testing na ito is meron kayong mga metric. So, may scoring each aspects. For example, accuracy, validity, reliability, user-friendliness, security. So, uh, it's up to you. Um, it's up to your, ano, your subject advisors kung anong format na mga scoring. Uh, for some, 1 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where 5 is the highest and 1 is the lowest in score. For example, um, dapat alam ninyo yung highest score ninyo sa inyong software testing. For example, sa user friendliness, dapat alam ninyo kung anong score niya. For example, 4.5 or 4. Tapos bagsak kayo sa user friendliness at sa yung score niya is 2. Ganun. So, dapat alam niyo yung mga values na yun. Next, um, kailangan niyo i-point out kung paano nangyaring ganun yung score. And last, banggitin nyo kung ano yung mga plans nyo in the future para ma-improve pa yung scores. Yan, that's how you handle it na question. Next is, do you think you met your project's objectives? Siyempre, ang pinaka-purpose ng inyong software project or ng inyong capstone project is to solve problems. And babagsak talaga kayo kung sinabi ninyo hindi nyo na-achieve yung inyong objectives. Kung sinagot ninyo na no. Siyempre, you have to answer yes. And hindi lang dapat ganun, dapat alam ninyo yung reason or mga magpapatunay na na-achieve din yung inyong objective. So, yun. It's up to you, siyempre, kung paano na sagutin yung ganun klaseng question. Kayo na mag-iisap ng ganun. But that is one of the most common na tinatanong during Caps on Defense. You have to prove na na-achieve din nyo yung inyong goal. Next set of questions is more on um, the software part. So, once na nag-enter sa system ninyo yung mga panelists, ito yung mga itatanong ninyo, nila. So, the first thing na hinahanap nila is, meron bang audit trail ang inyong software? An audit trail is a list of parang history. So, if I click login, dapat nare-record yan sa audit trail. Kung sino na nag-login, kung anong oras siya nag-login, at kung saan siya nag-login. Yung when I say saan, anong IP address niya, parang ganun. Next is, may printing ba ng reports? Siyempre, when clients or companies use your software, dapat may ano sila, uh, list of reports na makikita. For example, sales reports. Gano'n na karami yung nabenta na products, for example. Or enrollment report. 
kapag ano naman, enrollment system. Ilang students yung nag-enroll, ilang students yung nag-transfer, mga ganun. So, that's the report part. Your system or your software should be able to produce reports. Next is, can it send notifications via email or SMS? Siyempre, uh, may mga important na transactions in your system wherein dapat ma-notify yung user sa updates. So, your system should be able to send notifs via SMS or via email. Or pwede rin via push ng notification sa mobile app if my mobile app yung inyong software. So, that's it about notifications then. Next is related sa kasabi ko lang kanina. Does your project have an app? Siyempre, uh, most of the systems nowadays is ano na, nagre-rely na rin sa mobile app or may app version na rin kasi when it has a mobile app ano, na sasolve yung problem sa yung ano, yung na-access na-access siya anywhere, parang ganun so, na-access siya within your within your pocket, parang ganun ganun yung sense, so with a, parang kapag walang app version yung inyong system, parang ano na kagad kayo, parang dihado. So, when you propose when you propose an app, ay, when you propose a software na web web app, dapat meron din siyang equivalent na mobile app. Parang ganun. Ganun yung ina-expect ang mga panels. Next is, may capability ba ang inyong software or system na mag-backup ng data? Siyempre, may mga unforeseen scenario sign na posibleng may mga loss of data or nasira rin yung pinaka main database dapat may capability din yung yung software na mag backup once na maka encounter siya ng gaitong scenario na may nasira something so yun so you should be able to prove na nakakapag backup ng data ang inyong software next does it have validations verifications um difference ng dalawa is pag validation for example sa email dapat it follows a certain pattern. Siyempre, ang email is yung parang username at gmail.com. Parang ganun. So, kung nawawala yung at, hindi na siya nagpa-follow ng email format. So, dapat may format validations kayo sa email. For example, sa so verification naman is, pag sinabi verification, you need to verify na existing yung ganun klaseng email. How do you, how do, you do that? You send a, ano, email verification. Sa email verification na sinend, may link doon to prove na once you click it, para na-prove mo na existing yung email mo. Parang ganun. So, dapat meron kayong validation and verification process. Next is, does each user have different privileges and can it be edited? For example, in a library system, meron kayong different kinds of users. The librarian, the student, the admin and the super admin so parang ganun si super admin by default na access niya lahat ng modules ng yung software si admin might have ano a little bit of restrictions siguro yung sales i say it's today yung reports din niya nakikita parang ganun or hindi siya pwede mag-add ng user whatever parang ganun medyo, medyo limited siya si librarian of course medyo mas ano mas limited so, hanggang sa ano lang siya pag-handle ng um, borrowing process or nakikita niyo yung mga list ng mga nagbabarrow list of students na nagbabarrow and mas lalong konti lang yung na-access ni student yung mga list of books lang na pwede niyang i-ano i-borrow and then yung mga currently borrowing niya na books mga ganun. so yun yung pag limit ng mga privileges for each user. And those privileges can be edited dapat. So, si Super Armin, pwede siya mag-assign ng new privilege sa librarian or sa student na user. Ganun. Each user dapat may privileges. And they will ask for that. So, yun. Be wary of that. Uh, next, am I able to create a new user? Siyempre, kung ako yung Super Admin, pwede dapat ako mag-add ng user. So, check nila yun, yung part na yun. Next, if your system has a payment module, ano-ano yung mga mode of payment na available? Cash lang ba? Or bank transfer? 
or online payment ganun so you need to be able to address those kinds of problems dapat um may sagot kayo regarding sa online payment may sagot kayo regarding sa um bank transfer it should be able to produce ano rin, receipts or an OR ganun ganun sa payment transactions next does it have a dashboard a dashboard is yung pinaka unang um, nakikita dapat ng inyong user once na naglogin siya so ano yung mga nakalagay dito sa dashboard na to pwedeng widgets pie charts mga notifications mga warnings na for example sa inventory warning may mga low stocks na na products ganun ganun yung makikita dapat una sa dashboard or in simply put um Kung yung mga important data na dapat makita kaagad ng user once he or she logs in. So, yun yung nakalagay dapat sa dashboard. Next, may way ba to reset the password? Or meron bang CAPTCHA? So, resetting yung password is uh, important for users na nakalimot ng, inyo, ng password nila. CAPTCHA naman is used for ano limiting or pang-catch ng mga robots or bugs ganun na paulit-ulit na naglalag in or nag parang tag tag dito nag brute force na nagte-try ng different kinds of passwords hanggang sa makapag-hack sila ng ano ng isang account sa inyong software so a captcha that da- uh, detects those kinds of mabibilis na login transactions so syempre alam niyo naman yung captcha may mga questions siya with are you a robot syempre that's may parang quiz doon or testing part doon na i-match mo yung ano check the boxes na nagpapakita ng puno parang ganun. so yun yung captcha so your system should be able to have that feature for para ma-prove niyo niyo na mataas yung score niyo sa security pro- sa security aspect and last part if it is ano a web app yung yung software na proposal or software project niyo it should be hosted. Hindi kayo pwedeng mag, uh, mag, tawag dito, mag-present ng inyong software project na naka-local host pa lang siya. So, it should be hosted. Natatest din dapat siya ng inyong client or may account na inyong, ng, may account na, in, eh? may account na ang inyong client. Ganun, nagagamit na rin siya. And, last part, last na last part is, dapat may mga sample data kayo. Ayan, so, is your system has uh, existing mga data? For example, if inventory, dapat may mga list of products na nakalagay when you are presenting. Kasi alam nga naman kung, saan, kung kailan pa defense, saka, pa, saka pa lang kayo magpapopulate ng data. Mali yan. Dapat may mga sample data na kayo na nakalagay for testing purposes. So that's it. I think sobrang dami na naibigay ko mga questions. I think sapat na yun. But if hindi pa siya sapat, I can think of Ano pa? <laughs> A part 2 of this video. Siguro, pag naka-isip-isip na rin ako ng mga 10 questions pa na iba sa mga nabanggit ko nga now, pwede pa akong gumawa ng part 2 video for this one. So that's it. I hope naging helpful itong video na to. And I hope may pasanan nyo ang inyong future capsule defense. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.